So assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Uh, morning guys. So we start with our sharing session. This one is for Credit Academy. So let me introduce myself. Okay, my name is uh, Muhammad Hanafiya bin Yahya. Uh, actually, I am digital immigrant. Do you know why it's digital immigrant? Yeah, I know huh? digital nomad. Yeah? I know about digital nomad. That's digital nomad. And this is new, right? So there is uh, two type of uh, person, which is uh, native, uh, digital native and digital immigrant. Digital immigrant, those uh, born before the digital area means there is no gadget like phone and back then when I born there is only have uh, a TV black and white TV using battery and then there is no handphone we use the normal dial the round one uh, phone and I still live till now that's why I call digital immigrant means I in two area before digital and after digital so I started programming Years 1997, I start with MIRC. Maybe you haven't familiar with this app. This app is very popular back there. We use uh, to chat each other. Uh, usually we, we run a command ASL, mean age, age, sex, and where you live. ASL. And I also involved in uh, VBA, Visual Basic Application. I created some code right there and we use Pascal MOS. And you can see my profile in this link. Uh, later I will share this slide so you can uh, look into that. <coughs> okay, before I proceed with our session, Master PHP, I would like to share in what credit did, uh, what uh, we planned and what is our awesome program so we have two program currently we are running a credit academic now is credit academy so you can visit our website cradle.com slash academy for the update so since this is the new uh, credit academy and this is the first one so there is no upcoming event uh, which is this one. Actually, in our plan, there's a few events that related with IT, programming, and also marketing, uh, which is related with internet marketing. And also, for med uh, multimedia students, we are also involved in uh, multimedia editing, something like that. So, why we create Cradle Academy? So, let's we hear this one from our CEO. I am Gobala Krishnan. I am the co-founder of Cradle. So recently, we started Cradle Academy, which is a non-profit initiative by Cradle to help young graduates, fresh graduates in Malaysia to bridge the gap between what they uh, studied in their college or universities, which is mostly outdated stuff, and help them to get uh, in tune with what they actually need to know to not only survive, uh, in the Malaysian modern Malaysian workforce, but also to excel and build a successful career. So we have a first event coming up uh, as part of Creole Academy, and that is on PHP. So we're going geek uh, for our first uh, talk. So the talk is called Master PHP from Spaghetti to MVC. And why should you attend this course? Well, if you are a web developer or programmer, and it doesn't matter which programming language that you use, but let's say you use PHP, all right? So there's the uh, unstructured way of doing things, which is to do it your own way, however you like, and don't worry about, you know, will other people be able to understand my code or will other people be able to continue my work when I'm gone or when I'm no longer in this project. 
And then there's the more structured way using the MVC or model view controller method. And with that method, if you get it right, you'll be able to develop PHP applications so much faster than doing it from scratch, doing everything from scratch. Plus with the MVC approach, you also have a solid foundation framework in which you can work with. So you don't need to worry about all the common elements uh, that you will normally need to worry about when building a web application because all those things are taken care of by default in uh, the MVC framework or the PHP framework. So in this free talk, we are going to teach you how to get to the next level with PHP programming and start building really solid applications using the MVC model and we're going to focus on how to use a code igniter. So Master PHP is free for all students. Uh, just bring your student ID and you get free admission. For those of you who are not students or don't have your student card for whatever reason, then there's a very nominal fee that you can pay to attend as well. Again, Cradle Academy is not a profit-driven uh, initiative. We just honestly, sincerely want to help fresh graduates uh, to become better, to become world-class. And we focus on IT, web development, multimedia and design. If you have friends who may be interested to learn PHP and learn how to code in PHP like a pro, then please also recommend this event to them. So throughout this session, your trainer will be Mr. Hanafia Yaya, which is my co-founder at Cradle and he is the code ninja over here at Cradle. And he has tons of experience developing web applications. He has helped us to develop applications in PHP like uh, our products like Link Tracker, Nishify, uh, Halo, and so much more. So Hanafia has over 15 years of experience in programming and also web development and he will guide you step by step to get started with the MVC approach in PHP. Okay, so what are you waiting for? Go ahead and sign up, register for free and we will see you at the event. And actually the objective here is purposely is CSR, mean corporate social responsible for us. Uh, it is non-profit initiative which is uh, free especially for students unless you want to donate some money for us it's okay up to you <laughs> and actually the main objective here we want to contribute back to community that everything that we create everything that we learn we want to share uh, with all of you and we want to help graduate to gain a uh, competitive age mean like what Gobala also said there is a university and industry there is a gap between that so what you learn in, in a university is good but what we need as an industrial is a bit different because we are focused on some sort of thing for example in here we are focusing on PHP in university maybe you learn Java you learn JavaScript you learn Ruby you learn what C sharp C++ and everything else you learn everything but you're not expert in one thing so this gap that we want to uh, minimize the gap between university and industry and also it's free for students and let's say you want to contribute help us to spread the world so you just share in your click your, your uh, facebook your twitter uh, tell about Cradle Academy or you can be a guest speaker let's say you want to talk something you want to share something you want uh, to contribute you just uh, become our guest speaker and then we okay for that so we can uh, meet together and then we plan for that and then the second thing we have here is Cradle Internship Program this one is okay you can go to cradle.com slash internship this is our internship program page but minimum requirement is three months uh, internship period if you have two months or less so sorry you are not tech that because first month is totally for you to learn something in our company uh, second month and third month 
onwards is for you to involve in our production, real production. I mean, if you are IT student, you will involve in programming, do real things that real, like our creator site is live. You will uh, create this site or you will create our product, for example, link tracker. So you will involve in this real situation. So if you are a multimedia student, you will involve in creating video that you see in our TV. And you see there is a few students here. They are taking our picture and videos. Later they will editing that. Okay, uh, currently we accept IT student, multimedia student and business intern. Uh, this is what our uh, strength and what we can help on that. So you can apply here. But there is a bit uh, different how we accept our intern student. First, you need to create your own video and send it to us. So let's say you want to look some sample here. Actually, you just go to YouTube and then you search for credit internship. There's a lot of students apply to our internship program. And maybe you can get some idea like if you want to join us as an intern. If not, I cannot do anything. Alright, so this is our internship program. So we proceed with our main topic here. Alright, this is the topic that we will go through, I think, within our two hour session here. So first, we will go through Spaghetti Code, MVC Introduction, PHP MVC Framework, Working with Coordinator, Config, Model, View, Controller, and Continue Your Journey. Okay, before we start, with some survey. How many students or fresh graduate here? So accept these two. Are you working or are you lecturer? <laughs> <laughs> you grab before some time. So what you did uh, now? Are you further for your master and you are working as well? Same as you? Master. master. No, work. no work, just master. In computer science? No, IT. In IT. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Okay, how many of you already code in PHP? The rest of you? This girl behind? No, 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 haven't, haven't do any PHP code? God? For your final year's projects or for any semester projects or at least write Hello world or echo something. <laughs> God. Or at least put this bracket, question mark and PHP. God. If not, just open notepad and type it. Uh. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, at least we have a majority of us is using PHP already. And how many of you already use MVC? Just one. Just one. The rest? One. Cake PHP. Sublet. Yeah. That one is Java. JSP. Yeah. yeah, Java Sublet. Any? <laughs> Freelance? No, just normal PHP. Any? No. Okay, great. Do you know what is MVC? Who don't know? Okay, we got one. Uh. At least we got one and then we can continue. Uh. If every, <laughs> everyone know, and then I think we supposed to... <laughs> Pick up our bag and go back lah because everything <laughs> we know already. Okay, that's good. So I think you should and we should uh, talk to our friend and give him applause for you all. And then say say to your friend each other, you are awesome. You are awesome. I will be master PHP. Okay, let's start our topic, spaghetti code. Who don't know this? 
Who don't know this? Dilpa don't know this. Ah? <laughs> Who don't know this? Why is this? Mi goreng. <laughs> Mi goreng mama. Spaghetti, right? So why this spaghetti related with spaghetti coat? Any idea? Mm-hmm. Different areas. Mm-hmm. And that's how we get forget. Yeah. The and sauce and mm-hmm. the noodles. Yes, that's good. Because you are a master student. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why spaghetti? The metaphor. Things get really messy when connecting each other. Like what he said. So in an application, we connecting code to each code. We connecting class to each class. We connecting uh, what else? Uh, method between method. So why this spaghetti happen? Okay, we take uh, some example here. We back to the invention of telephone. Let's say we have two telephone: telephone A and telephone B. How to connect each telephone? We just have one wire. For example, this one lah. We have one wire. And then we add one more telephone. Yeah, you see, from the basic thing, there is no spaghetti, and then we become uh, some a bit uh, spaghetti. Why it happen? Okay, we add one more telephone. So from telephone A, let's say we want to call telephone B, we need to have one line, and telephone B want to call telephone C, we have one line, and C want to connect to A also one line. So each telephone must be connected. So we add one more. I think we add three more. So we have six phone. So how do we connect each phone? So B go to F, F go to D, D go to C, and so on. We add more, several more, and things become complex. So you can see this uh, wire a lot, right? So with 10 phone, actually we have how many connection? Yeah. Divide by 2. Uh, because let's say you connect here, actually this one you, you already connected. Right? So, so he got a formula already. So actually one phone it connect to at least nine phone. Okay, the formula. When we have two phone, we have one line, three phone, three line, four phone, six line, six phone, uh, five phone, ten line, and then we have ten phone, forty-five line because our formula is total number of phone multiplied by number of phone minus one divide by two. And then you already have formula, and then you can answer this how many lines of code we need. Uh, not code, uh, sorry, line of uh, connection we need. For 1000 phone. Any? Anyone? Something? Okay. 499 500 line. Connection. So these things become messy and become spaghetti. At first, we create our simple code look nice, really nice. And then when we add more function to that, and then inside function got more function call to that, and then inside that also got some 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 some. We add more and then it become complex like this. So this is why spaghetti happen. So we call it spaghetti. Okay, like this one. Uh, this what happen when spaghetti uh, cable. Uh, this one is for server. So let's say I disconnect one line, one cable. What happen? Can we find? <laughs> let's say we down now. One of your your computer connected to LAN, and then we take out some line here and then your computer is not working you cannot access to internet and then how do we solve your problem no. <laughs> you don't just use wi-fi <laughs> okay 
I think you get it why spaghetti is not really good for you even though not only code this one is happen in network and it happen in telephone as well and it happen to any things so spaghetti code what is this okay you can read together lah spaghetti code is specific and then kind of back coding where a set of instruction is not written in order but splattered all over the place like not of spaghetti it often to go to the statement which allow to jump to a specific line of code this is spaghetti code in simple manner <laughs> <laughs> so in your real coding you start with this and then inside your code you call this function and then inside this function also you call this function this function this function this function and then you also uh, pening ready yeah. how to debug spaghetti, uh, spaghetti code you know how to debug <laughs> just throw it uh. <laughs> okay the solution there is a solution for spaghetti can you think some solution for this phone issue? <laughs> Any others? Any others? Yeah, correct. So we do better design pattern. Better design pattern is software uh, terms. Actually, it's better design for phone lah. So we do better design. Each phone connect to hub, and then this phone also connect to hub, and then we can solve this issue. So we see our original spaghetti. First line is okay. It look good. Two phone we only one, uh, only use one line, but this one is worse. Two phone we need two line, and then three phone three line three phone three line is same. Four phone, six line, four phone, four line. Uh, this one is become better. We can compare here. We have 1000 phone. We need 499500 lines. And after we refactor, refactor is term of software. Uh, we only have uh, 1000 connection. Got it? Okay. This what MVC do. Actually, there's a lot of pattern. We say design pattern. Design pattern is a lot. Uh, single tone, multi tone, what uh, whatever tone lah. And MVC is part of that design pattern. So we today we focus on MVC design pattern.